Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's dig in. I'm currently in the shading tab with my object selected, a principled shader applied and viewport shading enabled. I'm using the cycles render engine and my graphics processing unit to do, to do all the thinking. And I'm only using 512 samples. You can obviously play around with these settings according to your uh, preferences. So we are going to start this one with a wave texture. So press Shift A, search for wave texture and pop it in place. Same again, search for a noise texture, pop that next to the wave texture. And plug the factor from the wave texture into the noise texture. Oops, not the white noise, a noise texture. More options for us to play with. Grab a texture coordinate. Pop that just behind the wave texture and plug it uh, from the object value into the vector of the wave texture. We're then going to take the factor from the noise texture and bung that in the base color on the principal shader. Now at the moment you'll just see some bands running across the um, sphere, that's the word. Uh, but we need to make a couple of changes. The first is on the wave texture itself. Change the wave type to rings and the rings direction to the Z value. You can have them going in whatever direction you want. I'm just doing this for visual interest. Leave it set to sine and then we'll change the values for the scale to three, distortion to zero, detail to 6.8, Detail scale to 1.4, roughness to 0.5, and the phase offset to 3.1. And that basically moves the things up and down. So we've got this nice big stripe in the middle, and then a variety of stripes throughout. So basically we've taken this wave texture here, and applied a noise texture to kind of muck these about. And we'll make some changes here as well. We'll decrease the value to 1, the roughness to 0.1. Uh, actually, we're going to take this factor from the wave texture into the scale instead of the vector. And you can see they kind of smooth out a bit better. So the detail is going to be 1, the roughness 0.1, and 0 on the distortion. Let's go back to our principal shader so we get a better idea of what's going on. Give myself some more room. So we've got this horizontal banding going on right now. That's good, but we need to do some extra bits and bobs. We need a color ramp. Pop that next to the noise texture. We need a layer weight node. Pop that above. We need a hue saturation node. And pop that there. We also need another noise texture, not white noise, I keep going for that one. Oops, dear, fingers are going all over the place. And a bump node. Right. We are going to take the Fresnel value from the layer weight, plug it into the hue value of the hue saturation, turn the saturation and value on that up to two, and take the facing value from the layer weight and plug it into the factor. So basically this has kind of softened off and darkened the rings a bit. We've got more to do to that, so we'll come back to it. Next up on the color ramp, change the color mode to HSL and the interpolation or color interpolation mode to near. 
Next up, we need a color in here. And I'm actually going to use the hex value. Let me do this end one first. So I'm going to do the value 549B8C. And that should give me a petrol green or a petrol blue. No, petrol green. I'm actually going to darken that off a bit as well. So we go into the HSV 0.1. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm just going to disconnect all of this by control shift and clicking on the color ramp. So I get a better idea of the actual colors that are coming through. And then for this value, I'm going to do a petrol blue. So the hex value that I've come up with that is 216477. Mm, it's a bit too blue if I'm honest. So let's have a look. See if I can push it back around to the green. So let's say 0.38 for that. Okay, right. Let's show back to the principal shader now what's happening here obviously it's not reflecting the true colors because i'm using this layer weight to make some adjustments and the saturation and value as well so let's just make a couple of other changes over in the principal shader i'm going to change that to multi-scatter uh, metallic i'm going to increase to 0.9 specular to 0.5 Roughness to 0.15 and clear coat to 0.5. Clear coat roughness, I'm going to take from this bump node. And while I'm here, I'm also going to plug that into the normal. I'm going to take the factor from the noise texture into the height of the bump. And then change the scale to 2. Detail to 15. Roughness to 0.5 and distortion to 1. And then I'm going to change the bump node setting to something very low like 0.1 and 0.1. Mm, 0.5 gives a nice natural look to the um, pearl. But going a bit lower sort of softens that off. Let's go for 0.35. So, um, actually no, let's go for 0.1. So where are we? Okay. We've got everything done there. Now this hue saturation basically just makes changes to the colour um, that we've got going on there. So actually if I do... And you can see how basically as I push this up, we've got this sort of gold effect coming in around here. And that's because of this layer weight. So we'll keep that. But I want to intensify these colours a bit. So I'm going to grab a math node, plonk it on the Fresnel value. And although that's nice, I'm going to change this to power. And the exponent, I'm going to increase to 0.65. Now there's not much change, but you can sort of pick out the banding and bits and pieces. And for me, that represents um, a fairly realistic Tahitian pearl. But do bear in mind, as with regular pearls, as with Nacra, Mother of Pearl, there are all sorts of variations that can occur because they are, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so play around with all of these settings and find the thing that suits you and your project. But let's send that to render so you can see the finished result. And there we go. There's our Tahitian pearl. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll make sure to give the video a thumbs up before you go. And of course, subscribe, subscribe for future content. And if you've got any requests, if I can do them, uh, then I'll give it a go. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.